Hello YouTube and Mercedes lovers. Today repair is the headrest height adjustment mechanism. So if you look here and um, this is I guess applies um, to W202. My particular model is 95. Um, can comment on any other years but um, in my car. So there's a little mechanism which has like a rack and pinion and this thing works um, just lowering and uh, adjusting the height of the headrest now I'll show later there's a little gizmo um, used uh, if you want to remove the headrest so I think people are not aware of that little button in the back of the seat so when they try to remove they uh, either pull this thing out or that's one maybe possibility or oh, the next one is that the plastic gets old and brittle and you end up with this so as soon as this plastic breaks this doesn't work anymore so today's I will attempt and reposition this broken piece back now so far what I found that none of the glues work I've tried anything crazy glue epoxy glue any any other so I'm um, gonna just use lock wire and I'm just gonna uh, put a put it around to hold this piece in place and hopefully that's going to do the trick so what I've done so far so I took this piece and the broken piece I uh, used a little bit of a crazy glue just to uh, glue it in and to hold it in place but eventually it will, it will break off so uh, and I took uh, and I put a little groove uh, it's hard to see but uh, let me see if I can refocus this camera on something white okay maybe that so I put a groove over here and I try marking it with black and also in the corners a little notches also over here and around here so the purpose for that so that the wire wouldn't slip off and will stay in those grooves okay so next step I wrap the wire around and then just twist the ends and keep the wire inside the grooves like that now to mention I use a stainless steel uh, uh, it's a 0 0.032 basically 32 tau um, thick uh, lock wire it's stainless steel and it holds together pretty good so just make sure you don't over tighten otherwise you might snap the thing so that should hold it together so now just cut the ends and just take and bend them so they don't stick out uh, careful just something like that I'm gonna bend them up and that's I think pretty much so uh, I'm gonna go try and install it and see if it works so to remove the back panel you'll see there's two little uh, Phillips screws on the bottom one over here and one right there so uh, take them out That's one and another one over here. Okay, and then slide the bottom out. It's glued in.
Okay. Okay, so then I'll pull this later, but what I wanted to mention, if you look closely, you'll see this little indent in the seat. So this is where that little button is located. So in order to, if you want to remove the headrest, you need to press on this button to uh, uh, slide the top release and that allows the seat to be pulled out. Now I'll show you when I remove the back cover. So back cover and then just slide it down. Okay. So back cover is done and if you look, so this is the button over here that you supposed to press and if you look at the top of this piece so when you press the button when you press the button this white piece on top is sliding back and releases the the slide um, on the, on the headrest okay for installation um, the easiest it's probably what I do so you have your little drive which is like flexible drive so I insert it into the motor leave this like that and then you take this little piece and it's good pull the seat up hopefully it stays and then this piece you slide it behind So it's supposed to fit like that and then there's this plate like a retaining plate that you slide and lock it in place but before I place this in I want to insert my drive shaft uh, okay I got lucky so it's in didn't have to do much um, okay now Make sure there's a little dimple on that retaining plate. So the dimple obviously goes down because it fits in this little hole. So you put this like that. And I need two hands because you want to slide that plate down. Okay. So I guess you got the idea. You put this in and you slide the plate okay, down. Okay, so I got the plate installed. Now I can lower the headrest and behind it's supposed to fit in. So now you just need to reach to the other side and uh, operate this little motor to uh, drive that little uh, uh, the rack, drive it up. Okay, so let's try if I can reach that and let's see there's the headrest and goes up and it comes down it's a little bit noisy I think it broke okay so let's try well it operates the only problem I see if you go all the way down the little rack gets out of engagement with the gear and uh, and same way if it goes all the way up so something's not maybe I'm missing or this motors have to be somehow synchronized but that's I guess another video for now that was the repair so uh, happy repairing